Hey YouTube, I decided to make another video. Uh, I know it's the same day, uh, but I decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, after the Morse code project, I decided that I wanted to experiment it a little bit with the analog inputs for the Arduino, but I didn't have anything analog to hook up to it to uh, read anything. I don't even have a microphone right now other than the one that's uh, built into the laptop. Uh, so what I did was I made a little EMF detector, which uh, what it does is it has a wire as a probe, and uh, here's the wire I'm talking about right here, and when it's nearby a uh, uh, electromagnetic force, uh, it generates a small current in the wire, and the current is read by the analog input on the Arduino right here. And then it parses that data uh, through the code, uh, and it takes a bunch of uh, a bunch of samples, and then it averages them out, and it outputs that average as a number that you can see on this little seven-segment display here. So let me show you how this works using a drill. Uh, a drill, the motor inside of it, is uh, it uses a magnet and uh, all magnets are going to have a magnetic field which will generate a small voltage on this wire when it gets nearby. So take a look at the little display if you can see it. And I'm gonna start up the drill and move it slowly closer, slowly closer. And we should have it start changing now. And that's a change in response to uh, the uh, magnetic field there. Also, a uh, human body generates a large amount of electricity. Now, that uh, that drill motor did not actually touch the wire. Uh, that's why I only got, I think, a th reading of three. But if I actually touch the wire myself, you'll see that popped up to, I believe it was eight. I can let go again. And this is the same sort of tool that they'll you'll see them using on, like, those ghost hunter shows. Uh, those shows, they run around with electromagnetic detectors and they claim that they're uh, uh, finding evidence of spooks and things like that when actually they're standing underneath an incandescent light or a fluorescent light. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the little project. Uh, that's my experiment with the, uh, uh, with the uh, analog inputs. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.